Oh, sure did. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to your channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Big B with you. Thank you guys for riding with me. Got the 42 on the block here. I've uh, been doing some work to her. Been doing some work to her, huh? You guys notice anything different? Yeah. Notice anything different at all? Yeah, I'm gonna walk you through what I've done, and we're gonna take this bad boy out to the to the park here and uh, give her a rip, you know, on 8S. See what happens. Full trigger. Full trigger. Game changer. Game changer, y'all. Game changer. Yeah. Speedmaster Large Catamaran Strut, flat bottom. All right, I'll show you when I put it on the top tabletop in a minute. No more broken shafts, all right? No more broken shafts. This strut is quite a bit bigger. It took me three days. Three days to, to install and modify the strut to fit and work. New stuffing tube, all right? 16 stuffing tube, no liner, all right? Through hole is filled in with a, with a, with a, a large silicone tube. I, Took me forever to get that on this tube, but it works. It went right through the hole. I tried to cut it off like flush with this grommet down here. All right, as best I could. 5 16 stuff a tube, no liner. Speedmaster strut extended off the transom of the boat. You ever wonder why the Miss Geico, the TFL Guinness have so much, how, how they get so much speed? All right, they've got a 110 millimeter strut coming off the, off the transom. All right more leverage more leverage to keep the bow of the boat down and the ass of the boat up all right also flat bottom flat bottom strut all right flat bottom speedmaster offers it in two different choices flat bottom and round bottom okay if i were to recommend a strut i wouldn't recommend this one i had to take down the thickness all right it was probably double that size. Still thicker than the stock one. And that's the whole point. Look at it a little bit closer here. We'll have to re reprofile it. All right. It's also thicker. So I'm gonna have to actually file it down uh, to size. Okay. It's got a flat bottom. Later on, we'll do the. The comparison flat bottom versus round bottom all right i was really hoping it would be a direct drop in uh offshore electrics didn't have any specs any size specs length width thickness uh etc so i had to just kind of take a shot in the dark still thicker than the stock one and that's the whole point that's the whole point y'all that's the whole point okay um yeah i had to lengthen my 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 steering rod all right had to lengthen that put a different style connector on it i also put an extension on my bracket okay I extended the bracket out to accommodate the larger strut more leverage it's it's only about 15 millimeters farther out than the stock configuration about 15 20 millimeters but it's more leverage to get the bow of the boat down and ask the boat up like she's supposed to ride. More leverage. I just extended it. You see what I'm saying? So, this is a game changer, I think. This is going to be a game changer for this boat. All right. Got her all cleaned up. Put my ESC back forward. Bottom's blueprinted. It's going to be a game changer, y'all. It's going to be a game changer. Okay. All right. Slight angle down. The strut is in line with the ride pads. You got me? A lot of work, a lot of work to get this where I got it. All right, three full days. And I was going to do, I and mean, I still can, if anybody's interested in a long video, I uh, I videoed the whole process, but it's long. And I'm, and I'm just going to, you know, if I have enough requests or enough likes in the video, I'll record, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll edit it and, and get it out to you guys. But, um, you know, if you want to see the build process, how I did it, how I got here, like the video. I guess that's the best way to do it. So uh, if I get if I get a hundred likes, I'll, I'll release how I, how I modified it and got this boat to this point. Okay. So I got the collet tightened up. 
I got 4S in it right now. Alright. Four. Confirmation. It gives the whole, the boat a whole different sound. Alright. No no grease coming out the end of the strut, out the bushing. Game changer, y'all. Game changer. This is my first run out with it. I haven't run it yet. Um, so I've also just got to run it for like 10 minutes with with the bottom blue printed so I'm I'm uh, I'm testing it out yep so got an AS in it 100 C 6,000 milliamp C powers let's see how she does <laughs> stay over there ducks so I'm thinking it might it might um with with the bracket with the extension on it it may it may sweep the back of the boat out okay so a little bit more let me turn my steering gain down a little bit i ain't too bad got a little bit of wind today Wow, she's running good. All right. Wow, she's running nice. I've, I've already speared one goose with this boat. Killed it. Into the wind, into the wind, into the wind. I hadn't even got full trigger yet, so I'm out to try it. Full trigger. And she's sticking to the water good, y'all. I can't get it up the full trigger. This wind's coming in like at the pond, blowing at the pond from the side. Let's see. Yeah, she's handling good. All right, I'm gonna move my batteries up. It's actually riding good with that flat bottom strut. And I've got it dead nuts in line with with the uh, ride pads it's dead nuts in line with the ride pads i've got a little bit of down angle on the on the drive shaft all right only because that's the way that strut's designed this this flat bottom strut on a catamaran will help lift the transom of the boat in return pushing the bow of the boat down all right it and if you put mine's in line like i said if you put down angle on your on that flat bottom strut it will kind of act like a trim tab putting down angle on the boat um, that's that right there is the reason why everyone says not to put trim tabs on a boat on a catamaran because there's other ways to do it you know what I'm saying so let's see how it does with the battery uh, move forward no no water in the boat turn my, I accidentally turned the remote off To the wind there. Full trigger. Full trigger. I'm gonna go on this side. Wind's blowing this way. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of down angle on that. On that. Uh, when I take it home, I'm gonna put some down angle on the strut so that that flat bottom's actually acting like a trim tab. But I want to see if I need it. I want to. I want to see if I even need that trim. Okay, the wind's blowing this way. All right. All right. So she's still wanting to lift up on the bow. So yeah, I, it's got a little bit of down angle on the on the drive shaft. Now it's blowing this way. Which way is the wind blowing? Oh yeah, it's blowing that way for sure. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah, the fountain. The fountain's blowing that way. All right, so let's check it out here. Oh, sir. Nice. Nice. I didn't even check the damn GPS a while ago. I forgot. I'm just getting these batteries warmed up. They hadn't been out in uh, three months. Full trigger. Full trigger with that stock prop. All right, let's, let's try it again into the wind. All right, so yeah, she, she flipped into the wind. All right, so uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of down angle on that strut. I think, I, I think it'll give me a little bit more control. So let me get this thing out the water. Let's check the speed. So uh, we're going to work on this boat and the 24. I'm, I'm still working on the bottom of the 24. So I'm still working on it. It's been about a week, still working on it. Uh, once I get it right, I'm going to, we're going to, oh, see, that worked. See that, that, that silicone tube in the, in the through hole? That worked. All right. So it's hard to get on there, but it worked. No water in the boat. I just flipped it and there's no water in here. All right. So, so 60, all right, with the stock propeller, 60. And I only had one, one pass. Hadn't even set it up yet. Hadn't even tuned it. So. 60 that's not bad not bad y'all not bad 60 with the stock prop on my first run since i've done all this work i was hoping it would be better all right so i'm gonna go up just a hair with that one just a hair with that one because i We'll get a full trigger here. Want to pick up a little bit. Full trigger into the wind. Into the wind. Nice, nice. Into the wind. Nice, nice. Woo, that was a, oh man, my heart's beating 100 miles a minute. Yeah, the wind's coming from all different directions today behind these trees. All right, we got it with us now. Oh man, she's riding good, you guys. Oh man, she's riding good. A little bit of tuning, she'll be right. All right, so it's easy to control. Since I've extended the rudder back a quarter inch or so, it's still easy to, to control. In the corners, all right. We got more leverage to get more, more propeller in the water. Yeah, that's right. That is right, y'all. No brakes. Full trigger. Got plenty of control in the corner still. Yeah, I was afraid that rudder moved back was going to was going to help us swing the ass in out, but it's actually running good it does swing it out want to kick it out it does tend to do that yeah it's tending to sweep it out a little bit so if you if you extend your your drive line just expect that you know she's driving good full trigger all right let's get us a speed Into the wind. Man, she's pretty, y'all. She is pretty in the water. I missed this boat. Oh my God, I missed it. I ain't, I ain't even kidding, y'all. I missed this boat right here. It's a shame you gotta you gotta upgrade it. But you know what? This upgrade is half the price of of a new all right a new new blackjack 42 strut and cable and stuffing tube. All right, is 120 bucks. A new strut, stuffing tube, and cable for this boat, the way I did it, $60. $60, half the price. But you got to work at it. And I'm telling you, it's a, that strut's a lot bigger than the old strut. But that's what this boat needed. It needed, it needed a, a heavy-duty strut, a heavy-duty cable. You know, a full quarter-inch cable. Not quarter-inch step down to 3 16 in, in the stuffing tube. All right? It needed that heavy-duty strut and stuff. And this new strut is thick. You've got to mill it down. It's too thick to be used uh, like like it is. That Speedmaster strut, large. It's too thick. You know. Yeah. 
All right, so let's see. Let's see what we did on that last run, all right? Just uh, my battery went de dead in my remote, so I had to change the battery, and it was uh, 56, 56 on that last run. All right, so she actually, she actually ran good. She actually run really good today, you guys. Really good. I, super happy. Game changer. Game changer. Like I said, there's a lot of work to be done to this strut. I've taken about two millimeters off both sides to make it fit. You know, extension, three days of work. If you, uh, if you guys want to see how I did it, if you want to see how I made this work, how I did it, ironclad, uh, ironcladded this boat out. All right. If you want to see how I did it, how I ironcladded it out, 100 likes, I'll, um, I'll, I'll edit out the three hour video i'll edit it up and uh get it out to you guys so 100 likes and i'll i'll release the how I, how I upgraded this strut and drive system all right so i appreciate you guys watching big b what i call rc a chain of over tinker test and tune everything rc we'll see you guys next time